Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Daniel and today in this video guys, I want to share with you something amazing. First off, happy new year and uh, man, I am so, um, so excited. Okay. So, so excited because tons of businesses want to explode their companies right now. I mean, in fact, um, we got a couple of companies that are, that are looking to expand very rapidly, very quickly. And, uh, they're using me as the platform to help them get there. So, uh, with that being said, guys, I want to share with you guys a training, a free training. Okay. How, how to, um, track, let me see. Um, I put it here somewhere. Let me show you exactly what I put, how to track all Facebook marketing leads without, without, uh, ever logging into Facebook or being a marketing guru. Uh, now, uh, the reason why I say it like that is because guys, if you do it right, you don't ever have to log into Facebook, which is monotonous. And sometimes it's, it's, it sucks. And most of the people right now, you guys are either probably the digital marketers or your business owner that don't want to be, uh, looking inside of, uh, you don't want to be looking inside the, the ads manager or looking at the power editor every single moment of every single day. All you want to do if you're a business owner in any business, if you're a digital marketer with the agency or you're a business owner yourself, you don't want to be um, tracking through Facebook because it gets very, very confusing very quickly. Okay. What Facebook is used for is simply to track analytics and data. Okay. And split test offers and so on and so forth. But I want to show you guys what the real scope of the practice is behind all the uh, wizardry that those digital marketing agencies do. And uh, for one, I'm doing this for um, training material. And number two, um, I'm doing this because I want everyone to, to rise up. I want everyone to succeed. And, and uh, if you can help a business do this stuff, I promise you, they will pay you generously to help them do this for them. And if they don't, well, they don't want money anyways. So <laughs> they're just throwing away money if they don't want you to help them. I'm doing this for the people that want to make money. Uh, if you're a business owner, you want to make money, pay attention to this training. It's going to get very technical, but I promise you, if you pay attention to this training, guys, you will not have to learn this stuff ever again. And, um, one, you probably may not have to pay a digital marketing agency or two, um, you're going to value greatly the digital marketing agency that you are paying. That's, that's uh, well-versed in this type of areas. Okay. So it takes away the, the Facebook advertising posting kind of deal uh, spiel for, for those business owners that say, Oh, I, I do all the posting. I post on Facebook, blah, 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 blah. We all know that that does not bring in revenue. Okay. We know we need to new, uh, see real leads, real people, real phone numbers, real emails. We need to do something real with it. So I'm going to share with you guys the back end stuff. Okay. And I didn't sign an NDA with any of these people. So, um, I can, um, I can disclose all the stuff. Um, I send, they signed a contract, which, uh, for me, it was saying that I can use all their stuff for marketing material, uh, later on, and I'm going to use it for training material as well. So, um, with that being said, I will jump into, we're going to screen share my, my Google Chrome and we're going to get right into it. Okay. So first and foremost, here's what we're looking at. We're looking at our, um, my personal Facebook. Let's see who, Oh, thanks Chio for, uh, tagging Rebecca Salinas. Rebecca Salinas. Hope I see you in here soon, Rebecca. Um, but anyways, we're going to go into one of them that I need to set up a whole ad and a new, uh, whole thing for. Okay. So we're going to go into this one and here's what I do. Okay. This is the business manager. If you guys don't have, um, a business manager, it is very, very, um, crucial that critical that you get one. So I'm going to go into the ads ad account right there. See where it says ad accounts. These are all the pages. Now, remember when you're in a business manager, ad accounts are separate from pages. Just because you have a page does not mean you have an ad account and vice versa. Just because you have an ad account does not mean that you have access to your page. I hate power editor first and foremost. Let's get that over and done with. I hate the power editor. I, oh, I despise it. Anyways. So what we're going to be using here is Google sheets, Zapier, and that's it. Google Sheets of Zapier in Facebook. Okay. And we're going to track all these businesses, um, leads and sales and stuff like that. So, um, now you guys are looking at real data right here. Uh, this is currently going on. 
I'm not okay with this spend right now. I am not okay with spending this. And I will, I'm going to split test, which means I'm going to do a, it's a scientific uh, strategic marketing method to lower the ad costs or uh, test headlines and test images so that I can bring it down. Or I will test an offer because sometimes the offer just sucks so much that you have to spend so much to get someone to say yes to it. Um, either way, I'm going to try whatever it takes because these business owners are paying me um, pretty well to do what I do for them. So I want to teach you guys how to do it as well. Just in case uh, you need a, a business owner that needs to help. I'm going to show you. Okay. So right now what we have, I have, so I have 10 stores on this guy. So what I'm going to look at is this is my Google sheets. Okay. If you guys don't have a Google sheets, you need to get one. All right. So Google sheets, we cleared that. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, let's move that up. Okay. So, uh, a Google Sheets right there. This is a Google Sheets, and I'm moving around because I have like this bar at the top. So, Google Sheets. Um, so, if I look at my Ads Manager right here, or wherever I go, the Business Manager, remember? And I have Fondren, so I'll go back and check. Uh, Fondren's right there, checked off. Good. So I already checked all these. Uh, the ones that I'm missing is SPO, which is that one right there. And Scott. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing the ad for SPO now. Okay. So what I would do is right now I have the best performing one is Tidewell. Okay. So I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to make an ad from start to finish based on one I already created. Okay. So let's go ahead and create that. And uh, this is going to take a little while for you to set it up in the first place, okay? But what I'm going to do is uh, I, I label it by the store that I'm working with. So right now it is SPO. Uh, and we're spending $300 a week. So whatever that amounts to in, 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 in dollars. So I'm going to just take that off. And the way I differentiate this is by the page, okay? And I'm showing you step by step, okay? I, I know I'm gonna go fast, but uh, I, I hope that you guys, oh, hello everybody, whoever is here, but uh, I'm going through the training right now, so um, here, if you can, uh, if you can uh, just uh, mute yourself, Josh. I'll mute you, don't worry, there you go. So Josh, thanks for joining us, bud. Um, I muted you, so let's take a look. Right now where I was at, I'm creating an ad from start to finish, everything you need to know. So you never have to, oh, this is lead ads. This is a lead ad. So a lead ad is basically, um, I consider it Facebook funnels, right? If you've ever heard about funnels and so on and so forth, uh, I use ClickFunnels, I have an affiliate with them. If you guys want my affiliate link um, to join ClickFunnels, I will give you all in-depth training on ClickFunnels and um, Facebook advertising, I have a free course. If you get my, my funnel link, uh, and I'll put it in the description or I'll put it in the bottom of this YouTube channel or in the video after this training, you can reach out to me, however you want to do it. But, uh, anyways, uh, with click funnels, you can use these, these leads, these lead ads or, or it's a funnel, basically, you're building a funnel. But anyways, uh, lead ad terms. So this is basically what Facebook does is it grabs the information from the person on the other side. So whatever lead I'm gonna go and get, this tracks it down for them, okay? So we're gonna agree to the terms, perfect. So you guys are getting to see it actually from start to finish because I, I never created a lead ad for this one, uh, an agreement, so I'm gonna, we're doing a lifetime budget, so we're doing $300 a week. Okay, so we're gonna run it all the time. I like to do lifetime budgets because I'm doing week by week, so I need to check back. And I did lookalike stores. Don't worry about the lookalike stores. Um, right here, we're gonna worry about the uh, location. Okay, so location, we are SPO. So I, I already created the sheets because I talked to, um, to these business owners and I definitely recommend you guys have a systemized process. Okay. If you're going to be doing ads for yourself or for a business owner, I recommend getting a systemized process and copy and paste most of the things that you do, uh, 
uh, as you can tell, most of my stuff is boom headline. It's like I create it once and then I go back and start messing with it. But uh, for the most part, I do not mess with anything I do right here from the beginning. Um, I keep everything the same right from the get go. Okay. So uh, I start off uh, templated out and then I change. Uh, it's very important that you do it like that. Okay. So I found the location and um, now understand that I do charge these people um, one to $3,000 a month. So you guys can do this. And now I don't recommend charging them that unless you can deliver for them. And I'm going to show you how to deliver for them to make sense for them to make sense. Okay, so this one, it's five mile radius, 63,000 people. Uh, these are early season people for these tax clients. So they need to get, they, I, I want them not, if they're on Facebook and they make more than $100,000, they're not our audience. Our audience are people that need to do their taxes pretty quickly. You know, they're just getting their tax returns, trying to claim some kids. Uh, so we're going to save and continue. Boom. Now, if you guys are jumping in, you can post some um, questions or something like that, and I'll try to get back to them after after this uh, whole training. But like I said, um, I'm creating one from start to finish, okay? And I'm going to show you what I mean by you'll never have to do it again um, once you do it once. So now I'm changing the name here. Uh, instead of Tidewell, remember I told you I'm going to do SPO. So I'm labeling it SPO. So I remember, remember, labeling is very, very important. When it comes to systems and stuff like that, my mentor, uh, Mark, has taught me that systems drive the business, okay? Systems will take your business to the next level. Systems, not, uh, not anything besides systems, okay? You need systems. Hold on, I'm going to take you. Uh, Judy, I'm going to take you off real quick. Uh, mute. Where are you? Okay. Okay. Judy, I muted you real quick. Okay, Danny, thanks for jumping in. Judy, thanks for joining in. All right, so uh, remember, systems and processes are very, very critical, uh, especially when I'm doing 20 different ads uh, for 20 different stores. So you get to see, right? So right here, the ad, I'm copying it. I'm going to split test, but after... I make sure that I create everything from start to finish. Um, let me get a different, I don't recommend using stock images, but, um, uh, but this company didn't give me too much to work with. And sometimes you don't get much to work with. So you just work with what you got. Nope. We don't want her pointing the wrong way. All right. Um, yeah, that looks good. You know, happy family is always drawing people. If I could have got a baby, that would probably do better because most times babies get more attention. When you're scrolling down Facebook, you'll see a baby and you'll you'll click on them more often than not. Yeah, babies and dogs do really well. Uh, it's weird, but it is true. Okay, so I have Tidewell, but I don't want that one. Remember, um, this is a lead form one, so it's just going to create a lead. None of the not all these people need um, uh, funnel and click funnels and all that stuff. These people don't need that. Okay. So remember click, you want to make everything systemized very quickly. Um, very simple stuff to remember. Okay. So what we're doing here and, and I label it the way I label it, you guys can label it the same. And I'm going to put this up on my YouTube channel as well. <clears throat> and if you guys are watching on YouTube, uh, post a comment below or say something, man, say something positive, uh, or negative, whatever. If you hear my computer going, <sighs> um, I hate to say it, but that's the way it is. Uh, SPO. So SPO, remember that was the store I'm doing. I'm doing a brand new one from start to finish. Headline, right? This is the headline for this one. Ooh, there we go. Okay. And uh, this is the information I got from the company. I told him, look, hey, what is the, all the, what's all the details, the nuanced details about this uh, refund advance? How can they get uh, $3,250, $3, $3,250 without any fees or interest? So I told him to tell me the nuanced stuff so I can put it in there. So when people see that, they're not like, oh man, you, you didn't tell me that. You know, hate when people say that. So I'm going to add a short, 
uh, answer, please enter your best phone number. Yeah, please enter your best phone number. And then I want to make sure, uh, I want to see if they've done taxes with us before. Prior might be a big word. <laughs> uh, before, and then we just type uh, yes, enter, no, enter. You see, now you have a drop down menu inside the lead ad. So I call it Facebook funnels. Now, okay, privacy policy. Um, remember, see, copy. If you have systems, you have sheets, you have things like that, it will go very, very quickly. And uh, this becomes now a systems process and rather than. And now I can focus on the big things, or, which are creating offers. Now I don't have to worry about these things ever again. I don't have to type them out and stuff like that. I just copy and paste because I did it one time. And once you do it once, you can systemize it if you do it correctly. Okay. So this is the nuances about the uh, 3250 stuff. And I need them to see this a custom uh, disclaimer before they accept the terms and, and submit this thing because I don't want them coming back and saying, oh yeah, I didn't tell me any of that stuff. Shut up. All right. And then I tell them at the end, uh, thanks. Someone will contact you. And then look, so you see guys, um, once you systemize it the first time, you, you, it, it's very important. If you want to do anything more than one to two, three people, um, you have to, you have to create systems and processes. It's, 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 if you don't, you're, you're wasting a lot of time and a lot of money. Okay. So that's this. And okay. So the website link I put, thanks. Someone will contact you. This is the thank you screen. This is what they see after they've entered their information on this thing. Um, it's going to say, thanks. Someone will contact you via phone, but wait, hate waiting in line to get your taxes done. Set up an appointment with your, with the reserve VIP seats uh, button below, and we'll add you to our VIP appointment list. Perfect. Now they need a, a link. What I did was I created a calendar. So SPO, me and the business owner have talked and we have connected uh, about creating these accounts and creating these, these calendars. So there you go. It's perfect. It's good. Uh, SPO refund events, January. And then you finish it. Once it's uh, you checked it all off and I've done it enough times that I, I know I did it right. Uh, now sometimes this messes up because it'll say, Oh, you need to put something on Facebook or I mean on Instagram and whatnot. So, and that thing will come off as soon as you submit the page. So that Facebook thing will come off when you submit the page. So I'll save and continue. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right. So far, what do you guys think? Post some comments or uh, say something guys. So I know you're not dead. All right, and we're going to place the order because we are doing $300 uh, from now until the 9th, and we're doing $300 a week. So we're going to place the order, make sure everything looks good. SPO, I labeled it correctly. Um, okay, ba -ba -ba -ba. here, I'm going to chat for you guys. Are you here? All right, we're gonna place the order. Oh, uh, no, I can't spell, let's share the sheet, I'm sorry. Can't share the sheet with you, um, it's for them. But um, if you do it once, and this is what I did, um, you can do it again. I wish I could share it with you, but it's not, it's their information and their stuff, so I can't share it. And, um, A blank sheet you can just go Google Google Sheets and then make a sheet you just make a sheet go to Google Sheets and then make a sheet um, so now we've set it up so now SPO should be impending okay SPO is pending so now what I do I've created that the ad is done now let me show you guys how to make it uh, so you don't have to log into Facebook every single day and download these leads like everybody else is probably doing. Now, like I said, these are expensive leads. I'm going to do some different offer or something. I need to focus on getting these people um, 
income. Okay. And this is these things that I'm teaching you right now are not income generators. This is time savers so you can make more income. Okay. So understand that. Now what we did. Uh, so what I have here is I will have a Zapier and you need a Zapier account and you need to get a paid account and it's 20 bucks a month or something like that. Uh, so if you don't have 20 bucks a month, you need to start doing something. Okay. So we're going to use Cullen. It doesn't really matter right now at this point. I'm going to copy it because it's only three steps. Okay. And there it is right there. Now I'm going to label it accordingly. Remember how I labeled it. It's going to come out the same way. And now this is very advanced for some people, like very, very advanced, but I want to share it with you guys because I want you guys to uh, benefit. But uh, most of the things I'm sharing with you guys, I can't share with you everything. I wish I could. I just can't. It's just, uh, it's just, it's, it's a liability if I share it with you guys. So, uh, SPO. Uh, Houston. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to track Facebook leads. Uh, you first, if you have to do it, you're going to have to go Facebook leads. You can look at Facebook. I never use Facebook pages, but, uh, Facebook lead ads right there. You click on it. Boom. New trigger. Yes. You're going to continue. Um, you set up your own account and I connected my account and every account within it now. Okay. So now you have the page. Now we come to the page part. So my page now I, I manage a couple pages. I manage quite a bit of pages now. <laughs> So we're looking for SPO, SPO, Liberty Tax SPO. Boom, that one. Now, remember, I created that form, so it should be the only form there. Boom, right there. See it? SPO refund advance January. That's how I labeled it. And remember what I said about systems. It has to be very simple, easy, systematic, done for you, do it again, and uh, never do it again. So you know when something messes up, you know exactly where to go back to. Okay. Uh, you can view your lead, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now I created a spreadsheet uh, for this, this company. Okay. And you can have multiple sheets within one, one sheet. I didn't know this. This is awesome. So what I go right here is I go to this one. Oh, my computer is about to explode. So uh, name, phone, email type time. So not what we have to do is uh, this is the master sheet. And then you have, custom spreadsheet. So let me, let me walk you through it real quick. I'm going super fast guys. And I'm so sorry for that. Um, this is going to be on my YouTube so you can go back and play with it. Now, if I ever see that you guys use my stuff and don't give me credit, I'm gonna be very angry with you. Uh, okay. So spreadsheet then worksheet. Okay. This whole thing right here is called a spreadsheet. These are worksheets. Okay. Spreadsheets and worksheets. Now what we're going to do the spreadsheet I'm using Houston's Houston Liberty. That's the spreadsheet. Now I'm going to use worksheet. Okay. Worksheet is SPO refund advance. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out and now you click on this little thing on the side and it will take you to name, boom, phone number, phone number will be right there. So the phone number, when you go down, it will say, um, it doesn't matter. These two don't matter. I mean, I haven't seen anything that matters. Like it doesn't matter if you put raw or regular emails optional, leave the email thing created time. Uh, let me show you, let me show you something real quick. So, so when you insert to the left, it's going to create one. I just right clicked it. So done taxes with Liberty before. Okay. So now that's a sheet. Okay. That's part of the worksheet. So if I go in here, it should update. If I, if I, uh, see, it doesn't have it there. It's not there. Boom, boom, boom. It's not there. Okay. So I'm going to refresh it because I want to get that part of the sheet. So there it is. See, there's the sheet part. Okay. This is how you systematically do it over and over and over. And you focus on the gen the money, the income generating things. Okay. 
Have you done taxes raw? I haven't seen any difference between raw and regular. I just like the way it says raw, so I'll use the one that says raw. So you can test it, which I recommend you test it. Send a test to Google, to Sheets. So now you look at it, see, it's tested, boom. It works, it's perfect, it's beautiful, it's glorious. Now, uh, I will send an email. Now, all I'm, I'm doing for this customer is I need to send them an email, okay? So I need them to see, I need them to, to see this one, to see the lead. When the lead comes in, I need them to call it within five minutes. Um, I can send them a text message, but uh, for the most part, eh, they, uh, they need to be checking their stuff, okay? SPO at Liberty, at Liberty Houston, okay? Right here, okay? Now, I have all these things pre-done so that I don't have to do them again. And, okay, so this will be sent out to these two emails, okay? It will be sent out to SPO Liberty Houston and Daniel Tapia 764 gmail.com. The subject line will say Facebook lead refund advance. Now, the email itself will say a new lead was added through Facebook. Please contact within five minutes. So it will say the full name that came in through Facebook, best phone number, uh, email, and then ad name I put for the store. Remember at the end of the ad, um, if you remember correctly, what I did was I labeled it, I labeled the ad the store name so that they get to see it says SPO. Now, when the ad goes through, it will say SPO. When the email comes through, it say SPO. So they get to see which store it came from. Now, who it will come from, it will say right there. That would be my name. It will say my name that will be sent to them. Okay, and then you test it. Send the test to, and, and then we'll look at my email real quick. Okay, there it is. Oh, no, that's JR. <laughs> JR, sending me emails. See, there it is right there from Daniel Tapia, Facebook lead, refund advance. And so I tracked it, you see? Now lead, lead was please contact, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so right here, I already have 15 leads on it. So you can see the real detailed uh, store. Remember I put Harlingen um, on one of my ads I put, uh, and so I'm sending it to, to four different people so that they get the email. A new lead was added through Facebook. Please contact with the five minutes. That's the name. That's the phone number. That's the email. And that's the store. Okay. And I put one A because it's a split test. So I'll put on split test another one. If I split test copy, I'll put one B and one C, one D. I'll go all the way to Z until I start with two A, two B, two, three. You know, I'll start changing them after that point. But up until this point, I will keep all that things the same, just split testing, and I will track those things accordingly so that is done I turn it on and it is done it's done so now all they do all you do for the business you're the business owner or or if you're the agency owner all you do now is you go through the sheets and you send these these sheets to your customers or you show you show it to your employees and say hey look I need you to contact these people ASAP okay and this is real data right here this is real from the ads itself uh, see they're tracked right there. So we got 30 leads already so far on this one page. We got another eight here. Um, Brownsville, we haven't gotten much. Um, then we got another Brownsville. We got another Raymond's Raymondsville. haven't got anything yet. Uh, Brownsville Southmost. We got four here. Yes. Done taxes with Liberty. That stuff is already there. So we get to see all that data. So that right there guys is in a nutshell, how to track all Facebook marketing leads without ever logging into Facebook or having to be a marketing guru. So, um, if you guys have any questions, please ask them now. I'm going to stop the recording.